Hi, and welcome back to Football Made Simple. Thiago Alcantara is one of the finest midfielders in the world. With only one year left on his contract and Bayern seemingly resigned to losing the Spaniard, some of Europe's top clubs have been lining up for his signature. One of these clubs is Liverpool, and Thiago is one of the few players in the world who could make this incredible side even better. But how would he potentially fit in? Let's take a look. Just before then, the FMS Patreon has recently gone live. Thank you to everyone who responded to the poll, and now you can head on over to patreon.com slash footballmadesimple to get rewards like exclusive videos and early access to channel videos if you have the means to support. Liverpool's method of attacking is very effective and very distinctive at the same time. One of the standout traits is how dependent they are on their wide players for creativity compared to their first choice midfield three of Henderson, Wijnaldum and Fabinho, who combined for an expected assist of just 0.32 per 90, compared to 1.14 for City's midfield and 0.48 for United, for a quick comparison. And maybe more importantly is the ball progression stats. Compared to the second and third place squads, Liverpool are much more dependent on their fullbacks for ball progression rather than their central midfield. Put simply, Liverpool's midfield at the moment is almost entirely functional and just used to maintain the structure. So, Klopp may want to give his midfield a boost in terms of creativity, both from high up and in deeper regions, which is why Thiago may be the missing piece in the Liverpool puzzle. And what a piece he would be, as at Bayern Munich, he established himself as one of the finest midfielders in the world. He is adept at playing in a few different midfield roles, being able to play as a deeper lying midfielder, either in a single or double pivot, and although he has done so less often in recent years, he could undoubtedly play as a number 10 behind the forward. But Klopp is unlikely to change from his favoured 4-3-3, and this suits Thiago as his best position is probably on the left of a midfield 3. Let's take a closer look at how he would potentially function here. One of the biggest differences he can make is when Liverpool have the ball deeper as he is willing to drop deeper to begin the play and he does average more touches in deep areas than any of the Liverpool midfielders. In fact, in the Bundesliga, no one averaged more touches per 90 than he did. Crucially, Robertson is their second highest ball progressor, so the presence of Thiago to take care of some of this burden on the left hand side could mean that Robertson could advance higher up the pitch earlier in the offensive phase and be a bigger attacking threat which would suit Klopp. And this may have the knock-on effect of Mane being able to drift infield earlier if he chooses to. In fact, Thiago's 10.5 progressive passes per 90 were the second highest in the Bundesliga amongst midfielders and is more than what Liverpool's current midfield offers. And although Klopp's midfield are used to doing the pressing, when they are on the receiving end of a press they can struggle at times. There have been situations where they have shown themselves not to be the most press resistant due to primarily being functional. Thiago would change this from deeper regions as his close control and dribbling ability allow him to bypass his presser and open up a new lane of passing. This could also potentially be achieved by a temporary positional change with Fabinho to open up more attacking angles for himself. Another distinctive factor in how Klopp gets his midfield to function is giving them permission to go long when necessary. This can be done simply to switch the attacking sides, which Klopp's side do more often than any other, in order to get their fullbacks on the ball as often as possible. But more often, it is to find the runs of Salah and Mane as they look to stretch the opposition defence. And Thiago is perfectly adept at doing both of these, as at Bayern he was the chief orchestrator, so it was often up to him to switch the ball to shift opposition defences. But he can, of course, spray long balls to begin the attacking transition. In fact, he attempted and completed more long balls than any central midfielder in the Bundesliga, and consequently more than any of Liverpool's midfield, so he would improve them. But higher up the pitch is where Thiago could make a bigger difference. Under Flick at Bayern, his creative influence has waned, as in the double pivot his vertical movement has been reduced. And this is shown by him taking less touches in the attacking third than ever in the last three seasons. But if Klopp had Thiago, it is unlikely that he would be used so deep. Rather here he could revert to his more creative role as he did when he was younger, operating in zone 14 and looking to create, which is something that Liverpool's other midfielders can't do. 
It would be interesting to see how this would affect Firmino's role, who loves to drop into this space. Perhaps it would make room for Liverpool to operate with a more traditional forward when needed. But what does he do without the ball? On the defensive end is where Klopp's midfield shines, pressing and harrying. And while Thiago is a good presser in the Bayern side, the Liverpool midfield generally does have more pressures per game, so this may be something that he needs to adjust in his game. Thiago does shine though with his reading of the game, intercepting the ball before opponents can get to it as shown in the stats. His tackling in 1 vs 1 duels is also effective, winning more tackles than Wijnaldum and Henderson. But one thing to note is that at Bayern he could push higher on the left because Alfonso Davis had the pace to recover almost any situation, so it will be interesting to see how this will work with Robertson there instead. And the other concerns for Liverpool are that he would demand a high wage which may affect the wage structure at the team. In addition, his injury record has not been the best, inevitably missing a few games a season due to injury. But I'd love to know how you think Thiago would potentially fit in at Liverpool. Do you think he'll end up at the club? Drop it down below because I'd love to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to hit the Patreon if you want to support what I do here and a special thanks to my Patreons Joey Jenkins, Patrick Keynes, Cho Chung, Alex Postatny, Ethan Carlin, Lex Daypan, Namdi and Vince Campagna for all the support.